Poseidon's Vault. A good prison with only a few floors. Yeah, put that in the trash. Who needs a little tiny ugly prison if you can have a super scary burning box straight out of hell? And this is exactly why today I will be presenting the pinnacle of redstone engineering, a masterpiece of a prison so safe that no one will ever escape. Every little error I made with my previous design has been fixed. Here it is, the perfect prison. Hades Vault. While designing this, we followed a few simple rules. There has to be a way to visit the prisoner and the prisoner has to be treated humane. So no spawn killing or trapping him in a little tiny block. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you race works. You might know that there are people out there with a much larger brain than me. So let me introduce you to the Death Creeper. He's a redstone mastermind who basically designed everything technical in this prison along with a friend of his. Hey guys, Death here. If you want to get a more detailed look at the guard areas or just the prison itself, Check out my video in the description. You heard him, go over to his channel and subscribe to him. He deserves it. I mean, just look at his work. So without any further ado, let's start by trying to visit the prisoner. I ring the bell and wait for the two confirmation lights to turn on. After that, I can walk into the portal, located inside of the Reaper's sword. Once I'm in the nether, I will have to go through the same portal again but this time I will land on the inside of the prison. It already looks very different. The carpet on the floor prevents wither spawning and if you try to break the carpet, the alarm goes off and triggers a lockdown. We'll get to that later, so keep watching. You now have to put all your items into a locker. You receive a locker key with which you can later retrieve your items. The first security door opens up and you can see the guard for the first time. If he feels like he's in danger at any time, he can quickly close off this blast proof shield. You set your spawn point and then you get kill checked for the first time using harming potions. You then walk onto this golden pressure plate. A door opens up and you get splashed with a fire resistance potion. You now need to walk through this lava tunnel while the guard prepares for your arrival on the other side. Once through, a kill check will make sure you definitely have no items on you. You are about to enter the prisoner's cell, but first you will have to set up an enderpole stasis chamber so you can be teleported out. Once it's night time, the guard will open up this little chute and give you access to the prisoner's bed. But again, you can't sleep in it yet because the drowned is constantly near the bed. You can only sleep in the bed once the drowned is lowered with a piston. And once you slept in it, you will spawn on the inside of the prisoner's cell. So, the cell is basically the same as in the last video. If you're interested in some details, just go watch my other video, the link is in the description. Basically, it is infinitely regenerating and it takes 4 hours to break one piece of cobblestone. But this time, the prisoner does not receive any food, which is why the difficulty has to be set to at least easy or normal, so he doesn't die. Once the visitor wants to go out again, he can just be teleported out using the enderpearl stasis chamber he set up earlier and then he will be dropped down to this exit tunnel. To prevent someone from entering through here, there is a long piston door blocking the way of anyone trying to get in through this tunnel. At the end of the tunnel, you will be able to walk into a nether portal. Once in the nether, walk into the portal again and you land on the inside of the prison. So you can get your stuff back out of the locker. Once you're fully equipped again, you can leave the prison by entering and leaving the nether. You will land outside of Hades Vault. So what are some security measures that are included in this prison? Well first off, some things are very similar to Poseidon's Vault. There are still the six 9 block thick walls with water and lava alternating in between. Again, everywhere you go in this prison you will be affected by mining fatigue. But this time, there aren't only 7 Elder Guardians, there are 60. 
Why 6 do you ask? Because Elder Guardians inflict mining fatigue every 60 seconds, and if you have 60 of them, the effect happens every second. So this time breaking in with milk will not be possible. You can basically also throw chorus fruit into the trash, because you can't chorus fruit into the prison. And once you're inside, you also can't chorus fruit into anywhere important since all the guard walkways are covered in water. The guards are able to use a bug involving a composter being pushed into you to see through walls. So the prisoner can be supervised inside of the cell and there are regular checks if the elder guardians are still alive for example. This time, the see-through method even works for an unlimited amount of time. Another security measurement is this golden pressure plate. It checks if there is only one guy in the room. And if two people try to sneak in using an invisibility potion for example, a lockdown is triggered and both get killed. Speaking of lockdowns, what exactly is that? A lockdown locks off every control room, it activates an annoying alarm, it teleports every guard and the main ward into the prison and it also turns off the conduit which will kill the prisoner. So what triggers such a lockdown you ask? Well for example, if you're trying to sneak in with two people, lockdown. If you're breaking the bed, Lockdown. Are you spawning with us? Lockdown. Is the prisoner breaking cobblestone? Lockdown. Do you try to bypass any of the visiting steps? Lock. Down. In general, if you're doing anything suspicious at all, lockdown. Additionally, this lockdown can only be deactivated by the main warden and means that everyone is ready to fight. So what about the guards? The helper guards only have limited access to things, but there are a ton of special keycards meant for different things. But if you want to learn more about the guard area and what security measures were taken to ensure that no bribed guard can free the prisoner, please head over to Dev's video after finishing this one because he explained everything a little bit better than me. Now we come to the possible escape plans that will not work. Sleeping in the bed is not possible because the drowned is near the bed. Breaking it also won't work because you can't access it long enough. And slipping into the bed area is also not possible since there is now glass above the bed. Obstructing the bed is also not possible because you have no block to obstruct the bed with. Now we come to escape plans that require outside help. What about breaking in with milk? No, that won't work because mining fatigue is applied way too often. Killing the guard once you're inside? Mm-mm, try again. The guard has this blast proof shield to protect himself and then he has enough time to call the other guards. We already covered Chorus Fruit, so let's move on to the Withers. Spawning Withers on the inside is definitely possible. But we actually tried this. We spawned like 5 Withers inside and tried to get to the cell by brute force. It took over 30 minutes to make a hole into the cell that wouldn't regenerate. And this was done without the interference of the guards. You would have to be tanky enough to survive a 30 minute wither fight as well as multiple guards fighting with you at the same time. Remember that the guards can easily re-equip themselves and drop in on you in a matter of seconds after the death. The same principle applies for withers to try to get to the cell from the outside. The water and the lava stop all the wither block damage and the only way with which you could destroy obsidian would be to punch them into the walls. But due to the lava and water this would create a giant mass of cobblestone and obsidian instantly making it even harder to break in. But good luck doing that without the guards noticing it. And there you have it guys. All of these security measurements make Hades vault truly inescapable. Wait, don't click off, there are bloopers at the end so keep watching. If you have any escape plans or questions about this prison, let me know down in the comments. Last video I received about 18,000 comments and I can proudly say I read at least half of them. So help me with the algorithm, a like would be much appreciated. So let's try to hit 5000 likes. Also we are about to hit 150,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for all the support you showed me, it's been a ride but I'm only at the beginning so go subscribe to not miss out on any future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video, this has been Sin Sven and it's been a pleasure. So thank you guys, so, so thank you guys so much for uh, there are still the six nine block thick walls, there are still the six nine block th